Hi everybody, I am working on a crocheted heart bookmark today. We are going to start with the magic circle. <clears throat> this is a very quick project. I'm using a 4 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and 4 ply worsted weight yarn. So. You're going to start with the magic circle, the magic ring, however you want to call it. You're going to go around, so there's my magic ring, and you're going to start with a chain three, one, two, three. And you're going to go three treble crochets, so that's one yarn over, two yarn overs. And you're going to go in, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull two, through two. So that's a treble, treble crochet. And we're going to do three of those, so that's one. This makes two. Oops, that was a double. Make sure you yarn over twice. That's two trebles, one more will make three. Oops, let's do that one again. I'm losing my magic ring here, so I'm going to pull it a little tighter so I don't lose it. Yarn over twice, yarn over, pull through, two, two, and that's my three treble stitches. Then I'm going to do three double crochets. Yarn over once. Oops. And it's three of those. So that's two. Oops. Slipped that yarn there, there we go, and this makes three, and I'm starting to lose my circle again, so I'm going to pull it tighter, that's three double crochets, after that you're going to chain one, you're going to do one treble crochet, one, Then you're going to chain one, and you're going to do three double crochets, one, two, three, three treble crochets. going to start getting really tight in that circle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and you're going to slip stitch back in here. So that's yarn over and pull through both. That's a slip stitch. Now we're going to pull this tight. When you pull that magic ring tight, you get your heart. Now you're going to, once that's closed, you're going to chain 30. For your book.
then you're just going to finish it off. And there you go. Weave in your ends and you have your heart shape bookmark. If this doesn't seem quite perfect enough for you, you can pull this nice and tight. The tighter you pull, the more heart shaped it's going to look. There you go. Weave in your ends and you've completed a heart shape bookmark. Quick, simple, easy. Just like that. Have a great day.